For today's video, we are going to talk about how to solve exponential inequalities and we are going to explain everything in details. In solving exponential inequalities, there are two different properties that you need to remember. The first one, if b is greater than 1, b that is the base, then the exponential function y equals b raised to x is increasing for all x. This means that b raised to x less than b raised to y if and only if x is less than y. That means if the base is greater than 1, the direction of the inequality is retained. The second one, if b is greater than 0 but less than 1, then the exponential function y equals b raised to x is decreasing for all x. This means that b raised to x greater than b raised to y if and only if x is less than y. That means if the base is less than 1, the direction of the inequality is reversed. Now, what is the rule in solving inequalities? The first one, if the same real number is added or subtracted from both sides of the inequality, the sense of inequality is not changed. The second one, if both sides of an inequality are multiplied by or divided by the same positive real number, the sense of the inequality is not changed. And the last one, if both sides of an inequality are multiplied by or divided by the same negative real number, the sense of the inequality is changed. So these are the basic concepts that you need to remember in order for us to solve exponential inequalities. So let's start and let's have an example. On example number 1, we have 3 raised to x plus 1 greater than 81. To solve for x in the given inequality, we must have the same base. So let us write 81 as 3 raised to 4. If you are going to multiply 3 4 times to itself, it will give us 81. So let us have 3 raised to x plus 1 greater than 81, that is 3 raised to 4. Since the base 3 is greater than 1, that means the inequality symbol is retained. So let us cancel the base and let us have x plus 1 greater than 4. And let us move 1 on the other side of the inequality. It will give us x greater than 4 minus 1. And to simplify, let us have x greater than 4 minus 1, that is 3. So x is greater than 3. And the solution set is 3 up to positive infinity. So we use parentheses, that means 3 is not included in our solution. Always remember, if the inequality symbol is greater than or less than, we are going to use parentheses. And if our inequality symbol is greater than or equal to or less than or equal to, we are going to use bracket. So therefore, the solution set is 3 up to positive infinity. And this will be our answer. On example number 2, we have 2 raised to 4x plus 1 less than or equal to 64. To solve for x in the given inequality, we must have the same base. So let us write 64 as 2 raised to 6. If you are going to multiply 2 6 times to itself, it will give us 64. So let us have 2 raised to 4x plus 1 less than or equal to 64, that is 2 raised to 6. Since the base 2 is greater than 1, that means the direction of the inequality is retained. So let us cancel the base and let us have 4x plus 1 less than or equal to 6. Let us move 1 on the other side of the inequality. It will give us 4x less than or equal to 6 minus 1. And to simplify, let us rewrite 4x less than or equal to 6 minus 1, that is 5. Let us divide both sides by 4. Let us cancel 4. And let us have x less than or equal to 5 over 4. Therefore, the solution set is from negative infinity up to 5 over 4. 
So we are going to use bracket because our inequality symbol is less than or equal to. That means 5 over 4 is included in our solution and this will be our answer. On example number 3, 5 raised to x greater than 25 raised to x minus 1. To solve for x in the given inequality, let us change 25 as 5 square because 5 multiplied by itself is 25. So let us have 5 raised to x greater than 25, that is 5 square raised to x minus 1. And let us write 5 raised to x greater than 5. Let us multiply the exponent. 2 multiplied by x is 2x. 2 multiplied by negative 1 is negative 2. Since the base 5 is greater than 1, that means the direction of the inequality is retained. So let us cancel the base. And let us have x greater than 2x minus so how can we find the value of x in this inequality? So let me give you two different solutions on how we can find the value of x. First, let us move x on the side of 2x minus 2 and negative 2 on the side of x. So this will be 2 greater than 2x minus x. And to simplify, we are going to have 2 greater than 2x minus x that is simply x. If you are going to read this one, you are going to start reading with a variable that is x less than 2. Or you can write as x less than 2. Another solution, let's have x greater than 2x minus 2. Let us move 2x on the side of x. It will give us x minus 2x greater than negative 2 x minus 2x is negative x greater than negative 2. And to eliminate the negative sign, let us divide both sides by negative 1. Always remember, if both sides of an inequality is divided by the same negative real number, the sense of the inequality is changed. That means we are going to change the inequality symbol from greater than to less than. So x is less than negative 2 divided by negative 1 that is positive 2. Therefore, the solution set is from negative infinity up to 2 excluded. So again, we are going to use parentheses because our inequality symbol is less than. That means 2 is not included in our solution and this will be our answer. On example number 4, 4 over 6 raised to x greater than or equal to 36 over 16. To solve for x in the given inequality, we must have the same base. So let us write 36 as 6 square because 6 multiplied by itself is 36. And let us write 16 as 4 square because if you are going to multiply 4 to itself, it will give us 16. So let us have 4 over 6 raised to x greater than or equal to 36 that is 6 square 16 that is 4 square so let us write 4 over 6 raised to x greater than or equal to since 4 is written in the numerator and 6 is written in the denominator let us write 6 square in the denominator and 4 square in the numerator so let us have 4 raised to negative 2 over 6 raised to negative 2. So let us have 4 over 6 raised to x greater than or equal to. Since we have the same exponent, let us write this one as 4 over 6 raised to negative 2. Since the base 4 over 6 is less than 1, the direction of the inequality is reversed. So let us cancel the base and we are going to have x less than or equal to negative 2. Therefore, the solution set is from negative infinity up to negative 2 included. So we are going to use bracket 
because our inequality symbol is less than or equal to, that means negative 2 is included in our solution. And this will be our answer. On example number 5, 1 over 10 raised to x plus 5 greater than or equal to 1 over 100 raised to 3x. To solve for x in the given inequality, we must have the same base. So let us change 100 as 10 square because 10 multiplied by itself is 100. And in order for us to have the same exponent, let us change 1 as 1 square because 1 multiplied by itself is 1. Let us have 1 over 10 raised to x plus 5 greater than or equal to 1, that is 1 square, 100, that is 10 square raised to 3x. So let us here write 1 over 10 raised to x plus 5 greater than or equal to, since we have the same exponent, let us have 1 over 10 raised to 2 raised to 3x. Let us have 1 over 10 raised to x plus 5 greater than or equal to 1 over 10. Let us multiply the exponent. 2 multiplied by 3x, that is 6x. Since the base 1 over 10 is less than 1, the direction of the inequality is reverse. So we are going to have less than or equal to. So let us cancel the base and let us have x plus 5 less than or equal to 6x. And to solve for x in the given inequality, let me present to you two different solutions. First, let us move x on the side of 6x. It will give us 5 less than or equal to 6x minus x. 5 less than or equal to 6x minus x. That is 5x. Divide both sides by 5. Let us cancel this one. So 5 divided by 5 is 1. Less than or equal to 1. Or x rather. If you are going to read this one, you are going to start reading with a variable that is x greater than or equal to 1. Or you can write as x greater than or equal to 1. Another solution, let's have x plus 5 less than or equal to 6x. Let us move 6x on the other side of the inequality and let us move 5 on the side of 6x. This will be x minus 6x less than or equal to negative 5. x minus 6x is negative 5x less than or equal to negative 5. Divide both sides by negative 5. Let us cancel this one. If both sides of an inequality is divided by the same negative real number, the sense of the inequality is changed. So from less than or equal to, we are going to have greater than or equal to. So x is greater than or equal to negative 5 divided by negative 5, that is 1. So the solution set is from 1 up to positive infinity. So we are going to use bracket because our inequality symbol is greater than or equal to. That means 1 is included in our solution. And this will be our answer. So I hope you've learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.